How's it going everyone? This is MedCat here, and today we're going to be talking about the difference between reabsorption and secretion, specifically in the nephrons of the kidney. Let's get right down to it and take a look at how we say reabsorption and not just absorption. That kind of prefix here, re, implies a previous absorption or a first absorption. So where does this actually occur? Well, this is actually going to happen in this kind of diagram I've labeled number one, where predominantly in the small intestine and other parts of the GI tract, we're going to have absorption of nutrients and water from the GI tract or small intestine, as I've shown here, into the bloodstream. Okay. That's actually where we get a lot of our things like glucose and amino acids and, of course, water, which we drink. Okay. So we're going to say predominantly in the small intestine. Therefore, we know that reabsorption must also be transport into the blood if it is reabsorption. So that's what we've drawn in number two. This is going to be our reabsorption from the nephron into the bloodstream. So we'll write out reabsorption here. And finally, since we know reabsorption and secretion are sort of opposites of each other, that secretion must be from the blood into the tubule. And that's how you can never confuse reabsorption and secretion. That's it for today's MedCat video. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my comprehensive amino acid playlist, which can be found in the link in the description below.